Hi, welcome to WePlay Golf. This is a new Callaway ROG ST driver. Welcome back to We Play Golf, the golf channel where you easily learn how to play golf. We publish new golf tips and tricks every week, so if you don't want to miss any of our new videos, please hit the subscribe button. In this video, we're going to review the new Callaway ROG ST driver. ST stands for Super Tuned. So Callaway came out with the ROG drivers in 2018. That was a very big success and therefore they have super tuned the new ROG. They come into four heads. The normal clip head we're going to use most for the most amateurs will be the max. They want to have maximum forgiveness. They want to have super speed. On the other hand, Callaway has produced the Max D. It's for those who want to have a little bit more draw on that ball to avoid having those horrible slices. So the Max D, we're going to review that one as well. Then we have the new Max LS. The Max LS is going to be the one with lower spin for more distance but a little bit more intolerant than the Max. And then for the really scared boys who wants to have the big gun, we have the Triple Diamond LS. The Triple Diamond LS is going to be the lowest spin that you can get on your drive to have more distance but it has almost no tolerance you need to hit this one at the sweet spot time and time again and you need a lot of speed to get that ball airborne. So that's for the pros and for the really, really big guys who want to hit it very far who have more than 100 miles club head speed. So the technology they've used in 2018 in the first Rogue, they have taken that knowledge into the Epic and the Maverick and now they've tuned it up, they've super tuned it. It means that they're still going to use the speed frame, they're still going to use the carbon head, they're still going to use the jailbreak, but this time they've put in some extra tungsten. And the tungsten is this little part. It's only 11.5 grams of tungsten at the back of the club. And that's going to make the biggest difference in forgiveness, in stability on the club face, and eventually more distance. First club we're going to try is a Max version. The that's going to be the one that's going to be sold probably most. Um, this, this is going to be most distance, um, but still quite a lot of spin, as they say. We're going to see what happens. It's a ten and a half degree stiff shaft. When you look at the club, when you sit, see the ball, when you look at the club, it is a very matte finish. It gives you that soft look. It's not blinky blinky. In this Max version, it, it does look a little bigger club face as it is a 460cc, but a bit more spread. It's more like a pear shape and not an apple. And as I say, if it, even if it's a little bit off center, they still, still go straight, straightish. So my club head speed is only 92 miles per hour now, but it gives me a total of 224 meter. That's not too bad for an old man. So now we're going to use and try the Max D. So they say that because of the draw bias, the club face will be closed slightly at impact to avoid that slice. Same shaft, it's a stiff shaft, 10.5 degree. It was center hit, that gave me that little high draw. So actually I got less speed, I only hit 90 miles per hour, but I get 225 meter in total. And that's probably because it has more roll. Now when you look at the club, when it sits behind the ball, 
it has a view like the club face is pointing to the left. So that's what they call the, the draw bias. So the club face sits a little bit to the left. Doesn't matter. Just make that swing slow and easy. Yep, and it does a job. It makes that draw. Let's have a look. We have 91 miles per hour. It has 218 meter total distance. I'm not hitting it at full speed. It's winter time, as you can see. We are not that flexible at winter time, but it gives me the good distance. Now we get to the driver, Rog ST Max LS. It has less spin, so you need to have a proper hit in the center of the club face to keep that ball going straight. And you need enough club head speed to make that club work for you. So let's have a look what it does. I'm gonna tune up a little bit more club head speed. It was center hit. I have a little bit more club head speed, 92.7. And now, all of a sudden, we only have, well, 226 meter, but I have a longer carry. So it flew a little more. When we look at, uh, at the spin rate, this one has 2,200. One more. I'm going to tee it up. I'm going to tee this one up a little higher to make that stroke upwards. And let's have a look if that low spin comes out with this club. The LS. So I launch it more up, see if that's going to have less spin. I've got 93.3 clip head speed, uh, 2700, but a total distance at 225 meter. Not too bad. This is probably the, the best driver that they will offer you. This is a triple diamond LS, ROG ST driver. It is 10 cc less big, so it's only having 450. And it has more the, the form of an apple, it's less spread. So it's compact and it has this extra weight in the front to keep that ball a little lower and have less spin. But let's have a look what it really does. Need more speed to get this airborne. It was that center hit, but I can tell you, it, it, you need to hit it hard. This one was 94.6, it was the highest club head speed. It has 2,800 because probably my club face was a little bit open, just a little bit open, but this is, was 221. So one more, t one more hit with that LS driver, triple diamond, the tour version, now available in the most shops but only for a happy few. Again, I hit it really in a sweet spot, in the middle. I had to hit it really hard to get there. I get 236 now. The spin rate went down at 2000, which is not too bad for a drive. Um, but it's really tough to get that one going. So when you get your drive over 95 miles per hour, you might have a try with this one. It will give you more distance, that's for sure. You can see it was 236, the last one. It's the longest of all, but it needed a lot of practice. This is how we play golf. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your golf buddies. See you next time.